So I'm going to have a quick look at how this Zappy works. This is the monitoring that you get with the app. Um, so we can see just here, we've got what the solar is producing. This bit here is what's going into the car. And then this bit here is what the house is using. So not much on in the house at the moment. So this is when the Zappy is kind of an ideal solution. So it's basically taking all of the energy that the solar is producing minus this bit that the house is using and it's putting it into our car. If the house had a little spike in demand, we'd see this go up here. This one dropped down a little bit. Uh, the solar obviously wouldn't be affected by that. So the car is always going to require at least 1.4 kilowatts worth of, of energy. So this won't kick in until this is producing at least 1.4 kilowatts. Um, the likelihood is that the solar would need to produce more than 1.4 kilowatts because you've always got some sort of base load in the house. But in principle, this is how the Zappy works in kind of what we're looking at here are sort of ideal conditions really where, yep, charging the car from 100% electric. Now, if uh, we go back into the app itself and have a little bit more of a look at what we can what we can see on the app. In this car charging section, we've got Eco Plus, which we're in at the moment. That's just charging from the, from the excess energy from the solar. Eco Mode um, always pumps that 1.4 kilowatts into the car, regardless of whether it's coming from solar or um, grid energy. Um, and it will then go up as the solar increases. I, I don't really use this Eco that much. Um, usually I'm just flicking between Eco Plus and Fast. If you click Fast, it's then just going to chuck about 7.4 kilowatts into the car. So this is what you do if you're in a hurry or if you're charging overnight, for example, something like that. Um, that's not going to take into consideration really what the house is doing too much. Um, so you can see we've got 1.7 kilowatts coming in from the grid. That will slowly rise as the car takes on more energy. So you see the car's taking 6.5 at the moment. The solar's only giving you 2.3 of that and the grid's giving you the rest. So it's nice and sunny today and we can leave this car plugged in all day. So I'm going to quickly turn that off because we don't really want to be using grid energy if we don't have to. So we go back into the Eco Plus mode and we can go back to our back to our charging screen and this will take a bit of time to kind of just all reset itself the the app itself is a little bit slow um, but we speak to my energy quite a bit and they're working on tweaking it and making it all faster you can see it's starting to work a bit again now um, so we've got the solar going back there so yeah this is how the zappy works It's a brilliant product um, we really like it. it it's you know it's, it's one of the best ways to kind of manage the energy use in your house um, if I didn't have this product for example I'd be pumping about two kilowatts onto the grid at the moment, um, only to import it later on when I plugged my car in. If we uh, jump out of the app for a second and we have a little look at the, the car, we'll jump into the car and we can see that this bit here tells us how much it's charging by. So we can see just at the moment off our solo, we're getting between eight and nine miles an hour. So pretty good if you just leave your car plugged in for sort of two hours or so you're not you're not too far off 20 miles there um, which is a nice small commute for most of us so yeah charging off the solar is definitely the way forward if you can um, it's it's something we all do at Sungift where possible um, these zappies can be plugged into workplaces uh, homes and they all work the same way um, so yeah, we're, we're pretty impressed with the Zappi and it's it's something we're we're definitely advising our customers at Sungift to um, have a serious um, look at when they're looking at getting charges for their electric cars. So yeah, if you've got any questions, give us a call in the office and we can always run you through how it all works.